Alright you guys, got another video here for you on 5 changes to get faster Wi-Fi. Now a lot of people still use Wi-Fi around their home and some people are forced to use Wi-Fi um, because they don't have Ethernet running to that room. So how can we get faster Wi-Fi in that room on that uh, device that we're using? I'm going to share how to do it in this video. But first let's take a look at the Wi-Fi speed that we're getting here on this device here. So you can see we're getting 170 Mbps on this Wi-Fi connection. And I'm pretty close to the router here, uh, but you can get faster speeds if you have a Wi-Fi uh, card or router that supports uh, the speed. So let's go ahead and uh, make some changes. So what you're gonna need to do is right click on the start button and go to device manager. This will open up our device manager. We want to go to network adapters here. Click on network adapters and you'll see inside here the Wi-Fi or wireless uh, connection here. This is our uh, NIC card that we've got here that we're going to need to change. So I'm going to right click on this and go to properties. This will open up this box and you can see the device is working properly. But we're interested in going to advanced. So inside here, the first thing you're going to look for is this section here, which says 802.11 ABG wireless mode. So inside here, you want to make sure that you're using the best dual band possible. So I'm going to be putting it on this one here. Next, we want to go down to the next one, which says 802.11 N forward slash AC wireless mode and make sure that we are using the AC mode here. So they are the two ones that we need to do on this side here. So what we're going to do is come down and you can see here channel width for your 2.4 gigahertz. We've got this on auto. Leave that on auto there. And also we've got the channel width for 5 gigahertz. We're also going to leave that on auto. The fat channel here, we're going to change this to enable. And then we're going to come down a bit further. Let's see what else we got here. So we definitely want to change here preferred band. We're going to go to 5 gigahertz on this one. Now, before you get carried away, now, so you understand there's a difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz is a lower data rate up to 400 Mbps. The 5 gigahertz gives you higher data rate up to 1 gigabyte per second. So you need to work out which one is suitable for you. Now, another thing you need to take into account if you're going to have it on 5 gigahertz is if you're quite far away, uh, you may find that you're going to get slower speeds with 5 gigahertz. So the 2.4 gigahertz has a larger coverage area and better penetration through solid obje objects. The 5 gigahertz has a smaller coverage area and it's worse at penetrating the objects which are like walls and things like that. But you will get faster speeds if you can get a good connection to that. Now also remember 2.4 gigahertz is more prone to interference uh, and this is because more devices use it and the 5 gigahertz is less prone because uh, the less uh, devices use that um, frequency. So if you can get away with it, then try it. But if you're quite far away, you may need to put this back on to 2.4. So coming down here, going to put the through, throughput booster here. Make sure this is enabled. And also we're going to do the transmit power. And this is to make sure we are set. Uh, to our highest and also the roaming aggressiveness here we want to put this at the lowest here and this just means that the wireless card uh, will not look for another signal uh, it's just going to stick with this one here but if you do want to uh, turn this to a higher or medium setting you can do just have a little play around with these settings but remember what I said about the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, because that is really important. But once you've got this done, 
you want to make sure that you check your driver as well, that you've got the very latest driver installed on the system. And I've got the latest Intel driver. You can get this from the manufacturer's uh, site, either Intel or whatever driver you're using uh, for your network card. So I'm going to click apply and OK here for this one. And uh, what I'm going to do here now is we're going to do a quick speed test here. Now you want to make sure you restart your computer and uh, that's what I'm going to do now. So let's go ahead and quickly restart here. So let's go ahead and give it another speed test. Now your speed test may vary from mine depending on what sort of um, package you're on for your ISP. But this one is now doing pretty good as you can see here. So bear that in mind, yours may vary a bit, but is it an improvement? Let me know. And there you can see we are doing an hour, as another speed test here. We're getting 310 Mbps down and we're going to get the upload speed going as well. So you can see now it's on a Wi-Fi connection, as you can see here. So we're getting pretty good Wi-Fi connectivity. Latency is nice and low. And that's exactly what you're expecting from a Wi-Fi connection. So you're just utilizing your, your Wi-Fi a lot better. Now, like I said, with 5 gigahertz, depending how far you are away from your router, you may find speeds vary. So always check 2.4 and 5 gigahertz to make sure you're getting the best speeds possible and make sure you configure it that suits your Wi-Fi in your home. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. And uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll catch you for another video real soon. Bye for now.